Nala Games have been on a roll lately, adding numerous unlockable cosmetics to Noita. As opposed to the crown I'm wearing, which is unlocked by completing the Sunseed quest and the amulet for achieving the 33 orb ending, which are both permanent, today's video will showcase those temporary cosmetics that grant the player minor buffs in exchange for taking certain combinations of perks during a run and which disappear after that run. Up first, if you obtain all three Ratty perks, Revenge Rats, Plague Rats, and Spontaneous Generation, you sprout a brand new tail and are granted a slight buff to your movement speed as the true King of Rats. Next, with all three Ghost perks, Angry Ghost, Hungry Ghost, and Mournful Spirit, you get a fourth little ghost friend who grants you a slight buff to your Levitation Energy Recharge rate. Now, with all three Fungal perks, Fungal Colony, Fungal Disease, and the Mighty Cordyceps, you become Toad, uh, Mushroom Mina, with a fashionable fungal headpiece and a slight resistance to explosion damage. Then, if you were to grab two Luki or Leggy mutations, followed by the Luki Minion perk, you gain a Spider Abdomen and a nice 10% boost to your movement speed. At last, we get to the most recent and my personal favorite of the new cosmetics, the Halos. At the time of this recording, there are eight different perks that either grant you positive quote-unquote morality points or negative morality points. If at any point during your run you end up with plus three or negative three, then you'll obtain one of two special Halo cosmetics. With the evil perks, you're granted the red Halo, along with a minor buff to fire resistance. And with the good perks, you're granted the angelic halo along with the same buff to fire resistance. While this may never be expanded on, the more complex method to obtaining the halos makes me think of a pseudo-morality system, so it could be that eventually more will be tied to this, such as high-end spells or secrets dependent on the player's alignment, which, depending on the perks taken, could be shifted between good and evil multiple times, perhaps, ensuring that nothing is completely locked off during a run. Personally, I think that this could be a pretty cool mechanic for this game. What do you think? There might eventually be more of these cosmetic transformations, since one of the developers expressed a lot of interest in this mechanic. What about a cyborg transformation with oil blood and revenge bullets and such? That could be interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Happy Noitin'.